First time they've got good field position. Williams. Now they've got numbers out wide if they can shove it through the hands. That was superb. Well, he's blooded his Pat Siliers. But he threw a dummy there. There were men out wide. The defenders left him. And Leicester get their try. But this is where it started. That little bit yeah. of additional pace from Vianu, sending JP Peterson. And it was a few phases later. But look at this, getting through the grip of Threaten Palamo. Good feet, real determination there from oh, Siliers. Bearing the scars of battle, but he's got the first try. Yes, he'll need to get that patched up, will Pat Siliers. Uncharacteristic. But look at this from Pat Siliers. They were queuing up outside him, but the tackler released his grip. Pat Siliers found his way home. Okay. Time your run, guys. Okay, when you're ready. Wanted it. That was well snapped out of the air by Mike Fitzgerald. Harrison. Woodward waits. Well gathered by the fullback. Here's Sorensen. Little step there from 2CPC. Knock on advantage. It has been knocked on, chance here for Leicester to create something on the counter. Harrison gets it through the hands quickly. Here goes Jack Roberts. That was meant for Viano, but that was well gathered by Greg Bateman. Bateman is on as a blood replacement for the try scorer. The corner looking for the offload. It wasn't there. The tackle from Piatau. There's Williams. Tom Youngs. Turning to his old mate. Rob Hawkins. There goes Hamilton. Tackle! Leicester warming to their task. Here's Roberts. Thompson. The offload. Here's Vianu. Harrison has it. Williams, Mamaz, JP Peterson. Mamaz again. The pressure growing here from Leicester. It's a real test of Bristolian character. Knock on in the tackle. Ball knocked on in the tackle by Bristol, so there is a scrum advantage on its way. There's JP Peterson, referee says the advantage is over. Good offload there from Roberts, back to Peterson. Within six metres now, Leicester. Adam Thompson just Take trying off. to find a way through. There it is for Harrison. Williams, the offload from Williams and he's got through. Well, two tackles missed by Bristol. It's cost them two tries. Well, George Ford may well be on his way, and this man heading down to King's home and Gloucester. But Owen Williams is anxious to remind the fans at Welford Road what they'll be missing 
big handoff. Adrian Jarvis just brushed aside. Well, it took Leicester the full 80 minutes to get the four tries last week against Gloucester. The halfway there and not 17 minutes on the clock. Mark Tainton will be furious with the defending there, or rather the lack of it. Bristol did concede 70 points, just down the end, 69. Let go. At Coventry, Wasps, back in September, but by and large, their form on the road has been very good this season. The only other time, apart from that trip to Wasps, when they didn't pick up a point away from home in the Aviva Premiership, was when they in the tackle, lost in the to Gloucester, tackle. then only by eight points, and they were leading that match at half-time. Crucial period this now for Bristol. Can they get themselves back into this match? Brilliant run there from Woodward. Straight into J.P. Peterson, though. That was a fair old clash. Here's Hawkins. Jarvis. Be careful. Ryan Bevington going across field at the moment, though, Bristol. Need to straighten things up. That's the halfway line. Jarvis. Here's Hawkins. Jordan Crane, the captain. Craig off me! Used to wear that same shade of protective hat when he was you here at Leicester, the duck egg blue, which is very much Jordan Crane's calling card. Jarvis. Well gathered by inside. Vianu, improved his angle just a little bit. <laughs> Elisa Vianu has proved an inspiring signing that came out of the World Cup. But look at this break here from Jason Woodward. The New off, Zealand under-20 international. Decided to come this way when he Finally gave up on his dream to become an All Black. Let's go. How many? Seven. Seven man. In and set. So Rob Hawkins, initially signed by Bristol on a very short-term contract, did get it confirmed to the end of the season. That's ones. No legs, Dream! Well, Will Cliff being urged to get the ball moving. There's TCPC. Jarvis out there to Woodward. Well, it was pretty red there by the Leicester defence. Now, can they turn it over? Well, they've pounced and they've claimed possession. Out there from Rizzo. On to Youngs. Don't forget, he used to be a centre back in a previous life. At least the previous rugby line. Here's Peterson. Mamos. A floated pass. There's Rizzo. Just inside the Bristol half. Williams. Change of direction from Harrison. Out from Don Barrow. Vianu. Shoveled on well by Mamos. Onto Roberts. Good break there from O'Connor. Oh, and it was almost gathered and they were almost through. And when that man there in the fluorescent yellow boots gets the ball in hand with the try line in sight, well, anything can happen. Good hands there from Mamos, that's what he brings. We'll certainly have them salivating up in North East. He's on his way to Newcastle next season, that announcement made this week. This big crunching hit there. Adam Thompson. Saw Jason Woodward coming. And then secondly, just make sure a bit more effort to stay on your feet generally. You're forward there. Is Adam Thompson, once of London Irish, one of the try scorers against Gloucester last week. Well, there's the uh, score of the first try. Pat Sillier's back. So 
So it's been an opening quarter which has gone the way of Leicester. Two tries each time, tackles missed. That's the first one from Threaten Palamo. You know what I'm saying, though? Pat Sillier's getting the try, and then this one, okay. it's fly Here's half on fly half. The big fend, Owen Williams, just palming off his opposite number, Adrian Jarvis. Crouch! Guys, find the gap. Find the gap. So 12 points to three, Leicester lead. Into the second quarter of the match, and it's also some encouragement there to Mark Tainton. One out and down. The Leicester scrum, which historically first. I didn't think he did that time. would rarely be taken on here at Welford Road. It has been exposed a couple of times. On the way to the line out. Let's get there. On that one, I didn't feel. I felt he was already set up at an angle and then gone. You mustn't forget okay, that Leicester are the fact without a handful of players start, because of the Six Nations. No Dan Cole among them. Right, quicker, Bristol, come on. I'll get him in. Just stay in, Mark, otherwise we have to slow down even more. Six man. Drop one, guys. Aaron Major. A tough few weeks for him. Contest for the ball, play on. Sorensen only getting half a hand to it. Here's Don Barrow. Former England under 20 international, junior world champion in France. And a certain Jack Clifford was the captain of England. Long wait here for Falamo. Slightly misjudged that. Here goes Hamilton, bursting through, showing his pace, the Welshman. Straight to Jack Lamb. They're still going forward, though. Here's Tom Young's the captain. Harrison. Williams, the cross kick is meant for JP Peterson. There's Peterson. He gets a second crack at it. The first one looked to me as if it came off his knee. Peterson looks satisfied with that. But that could well be a third try for Leicester. Yeah, go ahead, Tom. Yeah, just, uh, just want to check whether that was a knock-on where they come off his knee, please. Yeah, I understand that. Well, sensibly, Thomas Foley second, passing that on to David Sainsbury. Well, it looked to me as if it was all knee from J.P. Peterson. Was their hand there as well? Let's see. No, I think that's all knee, isn't it? A little fortunate. There's the experience. That of first man viewing, it looks like who has played 70 and times and from South that for South Africa. Africa. The, the World Cup winner. Knows now all he's got to do is to wait for it to come down for him. Yeah, definitely off knee. Definitely now we'll just, the we'll just check the grounding. Hold on, it's coming now. And yes, there's yes, nothing yes, wrong with the grounding, on. and that will be a try. Three Leicester tries, 23 minutes. Better strike this time from Owen Williams. 19 points to three on his return. JP Peterson gets the third Leicester score. What a carry that was from Luke Hamilton. 
All gathered by Mike Fitzgerald. There's uh, Hamilton again. Harrison. Woodward's called for it. And it was taken by Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald, one of those players who, in recent days, has signed a contract extension to stay at Welford Road. Williams, and spun round by Gaston Cortez. Williams, little pop pass there. Look suspiciously forward, but the referee says it's fine. And his opinion is the only one that matters. Williams, Mamoz, Roberts. No, no. There's Sillier, scorer of the first try. Williams. Rizzo just dropping his shoulder into Siali Pietel. Williams, Peterson. Little dummy from Harrison. The pick up from the captain, Youngs, up to the 22. There's O'Connor standing over it. Don Barrow wants to play scrum half. Little pick and drive repelled by Gaston Cortez Williams what a powerful surge that was from Williams the pick up there from Mamoz a little offload he did well did the France international could Leicester clinch the try bonus point inside half an hour Vianu spinning turning pirouetting and most significantly scoring A little more than 26 minutes. Leicester have their four tries. A wonderful carry. Look at the hands here of Mamos. Brought the ball back in before releasing his captain. And then Vianu. Well, Robin Cousins would have been proud of this. Well, that's a slightly dated reference to you. As a former Olympic Bigger skating champion. <laughs> Twenty six points to three. There is no doubt that the last few weeks have hurt a lot of people here at Welford Road. We saw the good old East Midland spirit last week against Gloucester. And we're seeing more of the same here against Bristol. Palamo. Thompson getting there. Well, in the first couple of minutes, Palamo would have taken that, but now... You're just getting a sense that the confidence is rising among the Leicester Tigers. <laughs> Jordan Crane, the former Tiger, getting himself locked over the ball. And look at this, just almost like a pickpocket, wasn't it? That was Palamo's ball, but Thompson just wanted it that little bit more. Miscue, gathered by Thompson, did well to keep his heels off the whitewash over on the far side. Is Vianu a little run at it? Look at the step from Vianu, and again from Vianu. The offload, this is brilliant from Leicester, out to Peterson. It's one of the tries of the season. Crisis, what crisis? A second try for J.P. Peterson. Well, it was a team try. But there's no doubt that the influence there 
of Toulouse Vianu was felt from the moment Tomston there did well to stay in field and look at this from Vianu the skip and the step not once but twice the support was there and there was a sense of inevitability and JP Peterson could canter it well perhaps it's no coincidence that these two men Vianu and Peterson are playing their first games of the calendar year.